Well, welcome, Stephen and uh, Ruth. We're with Stephen Murray from Strata Educational Foundation, uh, CEO, and Ruth Watkins, also from Strata, who heads post-secondary education. And we've been working here at AGB with Strata on understanding success beyond completion, the attainment and opportunity agenda, and how it has changed and how we need to address it. We have a new issue of trusteeship, which really takes on these questions from a variety of angles. And I'd love to hear, Stephen, first from you and, and then Ruth. Why is this important and why does it matter? Thank you, uh, Mary. Really delighted to be with you and so pleased with the great work that the Association of Governing Boards has done on this special issue. At Strata, our particular focus is on strengthening the link between education and opportunity. And we've been watching with great interest this sort of shift from you know, a big focus, let's say 40 or 50 years ago to expanding access in more recent years, the last couple of de decades, a big focus on expanding completion and increasing attainment rates across the country. And that's generated a lot of really positive benefits for our country, for our economy, and for individuals and communities. Completion continues to be very important, but ensuring that for those students, those learners who are pursuing some kind of post-secondary education in large part to have some kind of economic mobility, that higher education is consistently uh, delivering on that. And that's why I just think it was so valuable that AGB and trusteeship took on this special issue to be able to share the, the latest and greatest of what's happening around the country and how trustees can really respond uh, to those developments. So what are some of those latest and greatest, Ruth? What, what stood out as you went through the volume? You know, I think building a little bit on what Stephen said, we know that people come to college for many reasons. However, at the center of that reason for the vast majority of people is access to a career, meaningful work, and life supporting opportunities in terms of jobs and employment. And with that in mind, we are watching trends around us, trends that uh, as exposed in the issue that public trust and confidence in the value of higher education is under question and under scrutiny. Many families, many prospective students are asking, will this be worth it? And there is a tone of uncertainty and anxiety around the investment one makes in college and how more individuals can be sure that that investment will pay off for them. And I think that is um, a, a pretty pressing issue for us in America. Uh, those of us that have led in higher education and those of us that now have the privilege of trying to support uh, change and innovation in higher education can see that it is an incredible moment where creating more equitable pathways to opportunity through college is pretty vital. And being able to take the kinds of actions that will help us deliver better, fulfill our promise more fully, for more individuals and families is at an all time, uh, I would say urgency. How should boards take this up and how do you think it'll change the conversations in the boardroom? I think where trustees really have an opportunity to play a constructive role is to sort of encourage uh, consideration of metrics and questions that really get at, are we enabling all of our students to not only complete and have good academic, rigorous academic experiences, that help build those really great general skills like critical thinking and communication ability, ability to work with you know, diverse types of people and so forth, but also uh, preparing individuals to successfully launch their career and really recognizing that in that respect, there's some very important roles of institutions that include but go beyond the academic core. You know, things like providing uh, quality uh, coaching and guidance uh, to individuals about their educational and, and sort of career journey and how they can link their interests and aptitudes uh, to maximize you know, the, the, the achievement of their goals. You know, thinking about things like helping them to secure quality paid work-based learning experiences like internships that really help them to apply you know, the learning that they're doing in the classroom. I think one of the things that I really thought that AGB got right um, with this issue of trusteeship is that this is really not about whether someone should study a particular major or a different major. This is about making sure that everyone that goes to college in part to secure a, a good, rewarding career to thrive uh, in, in their life in a broad sense is able to be equipped with the skills and experiences and tools to be able to successfully make that transition 
and leverage all the great things that they're learning in the classroom with the wonderful faculty that all the institutions have to be able to enable them to launch successfully after they complete. How would you, as a leader of an institution, how would you take this data um, and what would that mean in terms of working with faculty and designing student experiences and those kinds of pathways? Perhaps from day one, if we said, when do students begin to think about what outcome is likely if they pursue a particular path? Are we providing that guidance to students early in their educational journey? Um, that certainly is something that I think a president, a chancellor, a provost, a dean uh, can be part of. We can imagine that very powerful guides and advocates can come from faculty about what career opportunities can come through pursuing particular paths. And then we think about the particular experiences that students have while they're at the institution. Um, of note, I would say, uh, I think a very powerful feature of this special issue is multiple authors referred to the power of paid internships in particular as a transformative experience for many students across any field of study, having tremendous power to help students achieve those outcomes, allowing students to say, I really want to be an English major and a history major. And that doesn't have a one clear career outcome the same way some other fields of study do. If I pair that major with a paid internship, it really can be a transformative uh, effort. I just want to thank uh, Strata for their um, leadership in looking at some of these really core issues around student success and thinking through as well, and it comes out in this special issue, the relationship between higher education and business and industry and our communities and how we need to create that alignment. As we've learned through our articles, collaboration matters, and uh, look forward to the collaborations that will continue, and with all of our extraordinary trustees who are volunteers really serving because they believe in the mission, and they know how important higher education is, not just for students, but for all of us. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Mary. Bravo. Thank you.